Hey guys, so I'm starting out with my eyes and I'm priming using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand and I'm just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Then for eyeshadows, I'm dipping into one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes ever, which is the Tartist Pro Palette and I'm taking the shade Bold to start off with and just buffing that through the crease. Then I'm taking this shade called Innocent, which is kind of a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. And I'm just doing the exact same thing, just really buffing it through. Then I'm taking this beautiful like brick red brown shade called Whimsy and I'm using an E25 from Sigma to kind of, kind of apply it all through the crease. And then I just went back in with the B40 brush from Real Techniques to blend. Then taking this darker brown called Edgy, I am doing the same thing but I'm actually build, building this up in the outer corner so kind of creating a V shape. And then once again going back in with my B40 and just really blending everything out. Then I took this shade which is just like a matte brow bone kind of shade, it's called Classic. And I used an E30 brush just to kind of clean up where I had blended too far up towards the brow. And then of course back in with the blending brush because you can never blend enough. Then I'm taking the shade Smoked which is like a deep chocolatey brown and I'm using the E25 once again building it up in the outer V and bringing it through the crease. And then I'm taking the shade Punk, which is a matte black, and just really building this up, kind of patting it in and then blending. And then, of course, once again, I went in with the B40 because I just am a blending freak. And then I took that warm shade again, the shade called Whimsy, just to add a little bit more above those shades because I wanted that warmth to show through. Then I'm using a new product from MAC which is called the Dazzle Shadow. It's like a liquid, glittery, beautiful, the most easy thing to apply ever. Mine's in the shade Beam Time and I am obsessed guys, it's the most beautiful shade ever. Then I just use some micellar water to clean up any fallout and kind of carve out the edge of the eyeshadow to create a sharper line. And then I just went back in with my E25 with no product and blended. But I did go back in with the shade Punk, which is the black, and just kind of built that up in the outer corner again because I felt like some of it was blended away. Then I took my Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil and I just put that in my tight line. Then I used this MAC Mascara. I believe it's called the Bold and Bad Mascara. I always forget the name, but it will, of course, be down below. So I use that to coat my lashes and then for falsies I use the Huda Beauty Samantha number no. 7 lashes which are some of my favourites because they're so like wispy and beautiful. Moving on to the face, I primed using the Technic Cosmetics Primer Spray but then I went in with the MAC Hyper Real Foundation. It's technically called a foundation but I use it more as a primer just to make my skin glow as you can see. It gives it such a beautiful glow and then when you pop your foundation on, you can really see it shine through. So I'm using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in Bisque Neutral and this is the most full coverage foundation ever. You need the smallest amount and I'm just blending it using my damp beauty blender. Then for concealer, I took sharp touch, oh my god, sharp. I took Tarte Shape Tape and I applied that down under my eyes and through the center of my face. This one's in light sand and just blended that out with my damp beauty blender again. Then to set those areas, I used the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit. I always forget how much I love this until I use it and oh, it's so beautiful. I actually hit pan on the light cocoa shade which is the one I'm using now. So I just pressed it into the skin everywhere I put my concealer and then I went in with medium and dark cocoa and mixed them together to contour up my face. So I used a Sigma F05 which is one of my favourite contour brushes, just helps chisel everything out. So I applied it to my cheekbones, under my jaw, around all of the perimeters of my face and then under my lip and down my nose. And then I just took my beauty blender and kind of made sure the edges were blended and just emphasized underneath my contour. 
Then I use NARS Orgasm Blush, which I forgot how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it again. And then, of course, I just blended the edges because I like everything to be seamless. And then for highlight, I took the Max Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Oh Darling, which is one of my new favorites. I absolutely adore it. It's like the most beautiful, golden, bronzy, amazing highlight in the world. So I highlighted everywhere and then I set everything down using Fix Plus in Pink Light from MAC. Then back onto the eyes, I took that shade Innocent and just buffed this all underneath the lower lash line. And then going into the shade Whimsy, I did the same thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. But with an E25. And then I took the shade Smoked and did the same thing. I just really wanted it to be super smoky and buffed out underneath there. Then going in with Punk on an E20 smudger brush, I just really put that underneath the lower lash line. And then I went back in with the Dazzle Shadow and I started to apply it under the lower lash line and I decided I wanted it in the inner corners as well. So I went ahead and applied that everywhere in the inner corners. Then I just went in with my Sigma, what's it called? Eyeliner pen and just kind of hid the, la the lash line and yeah, then I went in with the pencil and did my bottom waterline. I suck at this voiceover guys. Then I took that MAC mascara and took the little mini wand and coated my lower lashes. And then finally for lips, I popped on some lip liner from ColourPop. This is in the shade Westy, which is like my favorite pink ever. And then I went in with this L'Oreal matte lipstick in the shade Blush in a Rush, which is a super pretty pink. And that completes this video. And I'm so sorry for the super rushed voiceover. I really suck today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. The one, two, three, four, those shades are all from the summer range.